Okay, so I was watching unpopular K-pop opinions and this channel really intrigued me with a thumbnail that said not every twice member has the potential to go solo and when I watched the video I was waiting for their opinion and when their opinion came on they said that you know not every twice member has the potential to have a successful solo or something they said they said that you know they don't see them as solos materials and they work stronger in the group and stuff like that and I definitely agree with what they're trying to say and they explain their opinion really well but I get annoyed when people say not every member of a certain of X group has the potential to be a soloist or X idol isn't soloist material or X group members aren't soloist material etc. Or they say that you know not every idol has the potential to be a soloist but in my opinion every idol to debut in K-pop can be a soloist. The reason being that not every idol will debut as a K-pop soloist. In the K-pop industry you do dancing singing slash rapping if you're a singer or a rapper and you have stage presence as well while promoting on music shows but for k-pop artists not every k-pop idol will debut as a k-pop soloist once they you know disband they could go into other genres of korean music k indie k ballet k chill k hip-hop k r&b k trot um etc and k uh, uh, k hip-hop and K trot are the only genres in my opinion that have dancing. K hip hop doesn't have much dancing with their artists, but a couple of people from the K hip hop genre, like um Jesse and J Park, for example, they know how to dance. So there are a couple of K hip hop artists who dance, but they don't focus on dance. And K trot is kinda like K pop, they have music where they dance to where they have choreographies as well. Now for all these other genres, K indie, K ballet, K chill, K R and B, K hip hop, K trot, not every artist to debut in those genres promote on music shows, number one. They either get invited to sing on Are You Young Radio or they promote on other YouTube channels and stuff where they don't have to dance, they just have to sing in front of a mic. So K-pop idols do have the chance to be a K-pop soloist and they can pull it off really well if they want to they don't have to, you know, only debut in K-pop and they're not forced to debut in K-pop. They can do other genres of Korean music as well, one thing. And another thing is that for people who say X idol isn't solo superior, why do you all say that? Is it because you think that their solo song won't be good, that you'll find it underwhelming when they debut? They don't have to debut with an iconic solo song. They don't have to debut with a song that is super outstanding or amazing. They don't have to debut in K-pop. They can do whatever genre they want. They can do whatever song is comfortable for them. If they're good at doing ballads, they can do a ballad. If they're good at singing rather than dancing, they can do a more vocal based song. If they're good at dancing rather than singing and they know how to sing but they're a little less good at singing and they're more better at dancing, they can do a more dance based song. If they are much better rappers than they are dancers, they can do a rap based song. They can do whatever type of song they want. It's their choice, their opinion. They don't have to debut in K-pop only. They can do whatever type of song they want, whatever's comfortable for them. So for you to say that X Idol isn't solo's material because you think that they're not good enough to be solos, that is completely dumb in my opinion. Every idol has the uh, potential to be a soloist. They just have to do a song or whatever or a concept or whatever that is comfortable for them and they just have to debut in a genre that is comfortable for them if they're more interested in doing ballads and they're better at ballad songs then they should debut in the k-ballad genre and be a k-ballad artist if they're more better at releasing you know hip-hop music or r&b music then they should debut in the hip-hop genre or the r&b genre it's not necessary that they have to debut as k-pop soloists they have to do whatever genre they find comfortable whatever song they find comfortable if they're better at releasing more chill based songs rather than iconic fast paced music or music that would not fit their vocal ranges then they should do it they don't have to do something amazing or outstanding to get noticed they should do songs that are in their vocal range that are comfortable for them that is in the genre they are comfortable with it doesn't matter if it doesn't get them noticed it doesn't matter if they don't get noticed after that it doesn't matter that if they were a popular 